Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you this new collection that Byredo did with Isamaya French. I hope I pronounced her name right. Byredo, as you probably know, it's a huge brand that is focused on fragrance mainly. And Isamaya French is a creative director, is a makeup artist. She's very well known in the industry, having a crazy creative mind. Them creating something together, it's actually not shocking for me as Byredo has a very cool vibe. Always came across to me as this creative brand. They've always done nice collabs. When I found out that they are going to collab, I was very curious about what kind of products would they come with because Isamaya French, like I said, she is super creative. Her looks are very editorial. I would say they're not like wearable. They're not like the usual very precious, you know, kind of looks that we're used with. And this week I've received a PR box and I really never share PR, unboxing, stuff like that in here on my YouTube channel. But I thought that this one is really worth showing. Okay, here is the PR box. I love the visuals. Very Isamaya French. There was a very sweet message in here. And then here's what the box uh, looks like. Here's what you have inside. Let me start with this side. Here are some pictures with the product. This is the founder of Barreto. That's Isamaya French, beautiful woman. And here are some amazing visuals. Truly love this one. And on the back of each of these images, you have, for example, description lipstick, lip balm, formula, how it was created, what was the idea behind it. The way they communicate this, it's in a very artistic, very bald, and um, honestly, very different way to give details about the products. Let's keep on looking at this. Here is a beautiful mirror. There is one... Uh, mirror and one magnifying mirror on the other side and then everything in here looks like it's coming straight from a lab let me get them all out obviously i've already used these products uh, because i wanted to create this look so we're gonna have a split screen where i'm going to talk about the products and i'm also going to apply them the products came in these boxes that look like you know they're coming from some sort of secret lab. I really like it. I know that a lot of you are going to probably think that isn't this like a lot of plastic? I agree that there's a lot of plastic. However, me personally, I find these very useful. I'm still going to use this. Like I'm not going to throw these boxes away. Plus, you know, this is like really nice quality plastic. I could put my makeup in. I could put a lot of things. I'm definitely not going to get rid of this. When I open, you know, that plastic layer that makes the product stick. Here are uh, two lipsticks and a lip balm. Here are... Opa. Okay, gotta be careful how I open this. Here are the color sticks. I've received three colors, but I'm going to talk uh, more in depth about it in a second. And then right here, there is the mascara and eyeliner. Now let's talk about the color sticks. These are available in 16 different shades. I've received three of them and they are created to be used very like instinctively. The idea behind these sticks for the consumer, for the user, for the makeup lover to use them however they want. You could use this on your eyes, you could use them on your lips, on your cheeks, like however you want. I've picked a color to use on my eyelids that I don't normally wear all the time just so I could change it up a little bit. From the very beginning the texture is very creamy so it's one of those incredibly super easy to use and then they never really dry which makes it a very flexible product very beginner friendly because it gives you all this time to move it to spread it to mix it like if you want to mix two of these colors you could totally do it it has the tendency to crease on the eyelids maybe there are people who hate this people who who have absolutely no problem with this but on my eyelids this product did crease however i find it very easy to like touch up like even now it's 
it got creased, right? So I could literally do this with my finger. It would be very nicely spread. Does it bother you to do this? I don't know. You're the one to decide. It does crease quite a lot and quite easily. What, I've applied this maybe 20 minutes ago. So that is one thing that you should know. In terms of color, they're very rich, extremely rich in color. Like I said, very creamy texture. So everybody can use this. This color on that I have on the eyes, on the mobile eyelid, I find that it creases more than the other other two colors that I received. The others don't crease as much, maybe also because it's a little closer to my skin color, so then the creasing is not very obvious. With a color like this, you will see immediately when it starts to crease. Personally, I love the design. It has one of those magnetic systems. As a consumer, not as a makeup artist, as a simple consumer. I prefer cream eyeshadows that don't really need touch-ups. As a makeup artist, it really depends because when you do makeup on someone and then you stay with them for the rest of the photo shooting or campaign, whatever you're doing, you know, you, you do touch-ups like every 10-15 minutes. So longevity is not something that necessarily I'm looking for when I create a look that is about to be photographed. This retail with 29 euros mascara and eyeliner let's start talking about the eyeliner so this is supposed to be like a super black eyeliner it says it's a vegan formulation and 99.2 percent natural i have to tell you though i love the packaging beautiful for me personally this is not like my favorite eyeliner it has sort of a glossy finish so it's not full matte i would say however i feel like you need to apply it like a few times in order to have that very very black uh, finish i would say the applicator is pretty stiff again i prefer something that has a little bend so it just helps me get the eyeliner in my uh, tiny little creases the eyeliner is 35 euros you cannot not notice the very sort of futuristic very creative design this is the mascara when i first saw the brush like the wand i was not crazy about it that's not really my type of wand however when i actually started to apply it this is the type of brush that will grab every single one of your lashes and coats them with mascara and it's more of a i would say more of a lengthening and like separating your lashes type of mascara it's not that much about volume another thing that i've noticed about it so i've used this mascara without curling my lashes i feel like my lashes have stayed curled really impressed with the formula and also with the wand mascara is 39 euros the lipstick and the lip balm again they're like piece of art they have that heaviness that weight they're made of metal and again you'll find the magnetic touch in here as well they smell really good i don't know what the smell is but they smell really really good this lip balm is you know a very thin formula so it's not the type of lip balm when you apply and you feel it's melting on your lips it's like coating your lips with like a thick layer of balm not at all it's very thin you can literally do like this you know as many times as you want and it will not like melt and become heavy on your lips it's one of those great products very elegant to like keep in your bag and this is a 99.8 percent natural ultra hydrating formula and it says that that one coat is enough for hours of hydration well i would say if you do more coats it's not gonna hurt you this is my opinion the lipsticks i have only two lipstick colors but this is available uh in 15 shades and it's 39 euros and so is the price of the lip balm I've tried both of these lipsticks for you guys and I have to tell you, although, uh, you know, they are in similar packaging, the finish maybe looked the same, but it felt different. So with this color, Subtropical, I felt like 
The texture is very thin. There is a lot of pigment. The color is just very, very special. I mean, I, I'm a huge red lipstick lover. Not just like the classic pure red. I love all the variations of red. I, I find that this color is very, very special, very pretty, incredibly comfortable. It's not as opaque, though, as this color red armchair so this color red armchair i would say it's like one swipe you guys one swipe and although the layer is so thin that you could barely feel it on your lips the color payoff is like incredible incredible i would say that the formula for the lipstick is my favorite out of all the products obviously they are all looking beautiful but in my opinion, with these lipsticks really worth, you know, taking a look at, maybe having in your collection. And listen, I might be crazy or I might be just craving for sweets right now, but it felt to me like they are sweet. I know you're not supposed to eat your lipstick, obviously, but I don't know. I like I accidentally, you know, touch it with my tongue and I'm like, this is sweet. <laughs> they smell really good. I, I have no idea. Did I? Yeah, a little bit. I have no idea what they smell like, but there is a subtle something in there. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm yeah, I'm a complete idiot. Okay. So subtropical has a different finish. So subtropical is satin and the red armchair is a matte formula. So no wonder that it has so much more color payoff. However, I wouldn't call this a matte lipstick. In my opinion, it's definitely, you know, a more like demi-matte formula. I wouldn't say it's completely matte. Both colors, amazing. Overall, I am very impressed with this collection. Just, you know, the presentation, the thought behind it, the packaging is unbelievably beautiful. However, if I, if I were to choose like one product from this whole collection that I think it's really worth having and investing it's like a very special product would be the lipstick not just the formula the packaging but also the colors eyeliner just I'm not very impressed with it and the stick colors they're really great in terms of like color variety they have amazing colors available uh, however longevity and the fact that they uh, do crease a lot uh, on the eyelids it makes me want to say maybe pass i'm very excited that i got the chance to show you this please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below you guys know i love to read your comments thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your time if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up make sure that you follow me on instagram to just find out more about makeup and life in Paris. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!